Hello everyone, it's Claudia here and today I am here with the first layout in this week's Shine Marathon which um, is a marathon where I will be uploading a video every single day or at least from Monday to Friday and what I'm showing you right now is my main concept for this layout so what I did is I um, got a sticker from the Create Paper Hello Love sticker sheet and I traced the shape and then I cut it out with my crafting knife and my idea for the layout was to use these branding strips and just kind of mount them behind those hearts I had cut out and I thought it was a good way to use them up and also to get a lot of different patterns onto your layout and also the colors that are in the collection which also makes it really easy to pick embellishments because all the colors are already on your layout and um, I just quickly wanted to show you what I was doing so now I'm just going to speed it up and um, you can see that the um, paper is that's on the other side is a paper from my stash and it's from the Dear Lizzie documentary collection which came out last fall I believe and I just knew that I was never going to use it so I figured that I would just use the white side of it because I'm trying to save my white cardstock. I'm trying to not use as much of it as I have been recently just because I kind of want to save a little bit of money and not spend money on scrapbooking supplies for a while. And um, I do apologize for my voice. My voice is just, I don't know, I have a bit of a cold which definitely doesn't help. But you know, it is what it is and I'm just trying to get these videos done and uploaded and I hope that you will um, enjoy them regardless. So um, I'm using this washi tape to stick it down and um, because it took me a long time I just figured I would just cut the part out. So here you can see uh, what it looks like. There's just a bunch of branding strips behind those hearts and actually um, I thought of a quicker way to um, you know, fill in those hearts without struggling so much because I was kind of struggling a little bit earlier. Which is okay, but you know, if you can think of a better way, then you should definitely do that. So the photo I'm using is a photo of my horse Sharon, and um, again, I don't scrap photos of her all that often because I don't have that many photos of her here with me. I do have some photo albums and stuff, um, but I do have this photo, and it's probably one of my favorite photos of her because it's just a photo of her looking pretty and. Um, you can definitely see like a quality difference in terms of the photos um, in comparison to the ones of Cupido just because I had my like what do you call that like DSLR camera or something um, when I had Cupido and I didn't have that when I had Sharon so um, the photos are obviously of a different quality and sometimes I wish I had my really good camera when I had her because I think it would have been pretty cool to have some really um, beautiful photos of her even though of course like the photos are still beautiful and they mean a lot to me but I don't know I hope that kind of made sense so right now I'm just kind of going through the papers and kind of working on my layering which is something I always do uh, pretty much right off the bat and I was actually really happy with how those hearts turned out um, again that paper that I used was actually just a test um, run so to speak because I wasn't sure if it was going to look good and if I would mess up with the cutting part because I'm not that confident in my crafting knife skills just yet but it actually looked pretty okay or at least that's what I think maybe you disagree but I'm pretty happy with how it looks and um, yeah actually the other day I just filmed a bunch of videos so this video was recorded about a week ago and then the videos you will see tomorrow and the days after were actually recorded in one day I was very inspired I think and just really felt like creating with the collection so um, that's what I did um, and for a second here I was thinking of using that gold foam uh, darling scripted word somewhere and even though I love it I just didn't really know where to put it and I didn't want it to kind of overshadow those hearts so I'm just kind of thinking about where to place some other elements to just kind of make it look more interesting but not necessarily um, you know add too much so you don't really see the hearts as well because that was kind of like my main vocal point and um, I did stop the recording a few times while I was making this layout because I was getting annoyed at the lighting and I was getting frustrated and then 
you know I just decided to take a break and then just get back to it so that's why you see uh, certain bits getting uh, cut out but I didn't really add too much um, of you know super important stuff that you really had to see I just added a few florals and that butterfly and um, I also added a few of the um, DIY D, D, DIY flare buttons that I made I don't know like two weeks ago and I really love how those look if you want to make your own DIY flare buttons you need what are they called they're like bubble caps like epoxy bubble caps or something and then you know to make it easy e or easier at least um, I would recommend having a one inch circle punch as well but of course that is up to you but that's what I have and it's super easy to make your own DIY flares um, if you have that so I just added that bird which I don't know it doesn't really fit with the photo per se but I, f I just thought it looked cute there and honestly I had no idea where else I would ever use um, those birds so I figured why not if it looks nice then just smack it on there even if it doesn't necessarily have to do anything with the photo and um, I'm adding this horseshoe which I thought it was super fitting and I wanted to place it somewhere more visible but I couldn't find a good spot so I just kind of tucked it in underneath my photo and just use them more as a layering piece and I wanted to add some puppy stickers but I don't think I end up adding one of these I was thinking of ending the butterfly and I was like nah let's let's just not and at this point I'm also just kind of feeling like there's a lot of stuff going on on the layout already so there's you know not really that much need for me to add a bunch more stuff to it I think I add that leaf kind of ephemera piece and I don't really know I guess we'll find out what else I'll add oh yeah I switched it out for the one with like the small dots on it and then I end end up adding another flare, the one with the bow which I thought was just a cute one and I don't know my horse was female so I just thought it was cute <laughs> you know like I can use a lot of pink on her layouts even though I think you can use pink on any layout to be honest and then I will just add some sweaters and that will basically finish off my layout so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with another video tomorrow so I hope you'll join me then too have a great day